My name is Gretchen Rubin, and my book is The Happiness Project. Another one of my resolutions was to acknowledge the reality of other people's feelings. And I thought about this in the context of my daughters, but it's actually true for any relationships with ad adults as well. If you really pay attention to what you're saying, you'll notice, or at least I noticed about myself, that a lot of times you just contradict what people tell you. And you say things like, you're not hungry. You can't be cold. Of course you're going to have fun. You always enjoy doing this. You're not scared. And you just deny the reality of other people's feelings. And what I found, and it's sort of uncannily effective, is that if you just acknowledge how a person feels, a lot of times that's enough. They feel like someone knows what they're saying and they can let it go. And even with my four-year-old, who's pretty short-tempered, if I just say to her, I know you really wanted to go to the toy store today. You really, really want to go to the toy store. That's what you feel like doing. And you feel disappointed because we're not going to the toy store. She can let it go. And when you keep saying things like, you shouldn't want to go, we went yesterday, or how can you want a new Barbie? You already have five that you don't play with, or whatever it is, if you deny the reality of people's feelings, it makes it harder for them to let go of it. And why argue about it? Why get into a bickering match about whether somebody would have fun or should have fun or is looking forward to something? Just acknowledge the reality of how they feel and let it go. And it really works. <laughs>